It's an early morning at the veterinary emergency clinic where a young couple has brought their puppy to see Dr. Boyd. I'm Mark, and this is my wife, Jamie. And this is our puppy, Luke. He's one and three months, and he's here today because he has a lot of trouble walking. Today, I'm gonna meet uh, Jamie and Mark and their dog, Luke. Luke has been limping for a little while, and we suspect that he has a kneecap that pops to the inside of his knee. I was looking at uh, foster homes for dogs, and I saw him, and we just went, and we fell in love. The first time we met, he came right up and sat on my lap and basically declared us the owners. You know, he adopted us right away. And now he's like our child. So let's take a feel of Luke's knee. If you can just hold on to his head there and whisper sweet nothings in his ear. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we see that, that pop right there. Okay, yeah. That's actually with the kneecap popping out right there. It is as I suspected. He does have this condition where his kneecap pops out. From what I can tell, I don't think his other ligaments are involved. Sometimes that can complicate things. And the kneecap sits in a groove in your thigh bone. What's happening is when that kneecap pops out, it's riding over the ridge of that groove. And that can be painful because it's grinding down the cartilage. We're definitely gonna recommend surgery to stabilize this knee. Okay. I think without it, he's gonna go on to develop debilitating arthritis. We often see this condition in young dogs and it's really important for me because I wanna make sure that they're gonna have a long, happy life filled with running and jumping and playing and all that. I'll let you say your goodbyes and um, I'm gonna go get his chart and get everything ready. Say goodbye and we'll see you in a minute. Oh, look at, look at. Okay. The longest I ever spend without him is if I go to work. We feel bad just leaving him at home, you know, at any point. So, you know, to have to leave him to get surgery, it's kind of upsetting. Yeah. And it's, it's just terrifying, because we don't know what's going to happen, if he's going to be OK. Love you, Luke. May the force be with you. We love him more than anything, and we'll be miserable until he's better. He'll be just fine. In x-ray, Dr. Boyd is getting a closer look at Luke's troubled knee. Right there, that's his wobbly kneecap. Ouch. So this is a pretty routine surgery, something that I see quite often. Um, it's relatively straightforward, except if I overcompensate and correct the knee, it's gonna, the kneecap's gonna pop out the other way. If I undercompensate, it's gonna pop out the way it was. So there's definitely a fine art to finding out what the, the problem is and what's causing the malalignment. So we can see that kneecap, see this one's in the middle, and then this one's sitting on the inside. So that should really be in the middle of that femur there. It looks like we've got some tibial rotation. So I'm gonna have to rotate that little piece of bone. So it's not gonna be easy surgery. There's a lot of components. And if I don't correct for all of those factors, then this is gonna happen again. I know that she's a professional. She knows what she's doing. But I mean, you know, there's always a possibility that something can happen. I mean, God forbid, but still, you know.